the floor. Yeah. Oh yeah. Long uh, rubber bands, right? Rubber bands. Now are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So the S, we separate. We number and underline paragraphs. The M is to mark where we find the bold, italics, parentheses, vocab, and these are our elements of nonfiction. So then they decide whether the piece is fiction or nonfiction based on this. This will tell us author's purpose. And then to use the author's purpose, we do hide, persuade, inform, entertain, or describe. Then we do our investigate. Who, what, when, where, why, about the paragraph. This is actually when you start reading. Oh. So you go through S and M and you're not even reading? You aren't it. even reading, but based on these things, you can decide what the author's purpose is what type of piece you're working with before you even start reading. Wow, okay. So now we start reading. This is also your hashtags. How do you spell that? You got it, okay, yeah. That's where you find your hashtags. Okay. So now we're actually- Explain in... hashtags again. Your hashtags are basically the main idea of each of the individual paragraphs. So that's when we separate a number, we use our investigate step here. We go back to each individual paragraph and basically decide what's that paragraph about or what would that paragraph's hashtag be. Oh, so you do investigation, this, you go through this for each individual paragraph? Each individual paragraph. Okay. Then, the L is the next step, step where we look at questions if they're included in your passage. So look at the passage questions and answer it based on what your findings were. And E is your evaluate. Check your answer with the choices given. Now you've done this one. That's it. Okay, well it's not it. Um, What's it? First, uh, so this is a great strategy used with pass or prompt prompts when uh, I'm sorry, passage-based writing, right? It's passage-based writing. It's um, breaking down reading for um, just when you give have a regular passage and you're having to break it okay. down. So it and this actually works to create summaries for passages that you've read. It works when you have multiple choice questions at the end. When you have a passage-based prompt that you have to answer a question for. It okay. actually s serves several different purposes. And what's your name, what grade do you teach, and what school are you from? I'm Kelly Keyes. I teach 6th and 7th grade reading and English language arts at Grandview School in Tahlequah. Okay. And people have permission to steal this from you? Yes. <laughs> they can use it, but put my name on it. I'll put your name on it. Give, give a little bit of credit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm actually write your name down there so I make sure they credit you correctly. And then tell everybody why you won't appear on camera. I don't want to appear on camera because despite the fact that I'm very loud, I'm a little shy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, Kelly.